Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you're doing well. We're going to get into the general weekly energies for Gemini. Guys, thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Your views, they all mean a lot. It's so appreciated. They help the channel, help the message get out to more people. And yes, it does make me feel good. So please do so. If you need to book a personal, the information is provided along with links to my other platforms for additional content. There is also a link to the store for my jewelry are still in stone but you can also book your personals through there the link is divine me 1111 earthstillstone.bigcartel.com okay all right gemini's your channel songs for this week we have bad and bougie by the amigos and they don't know by john b so um i'm getting somebody is sleeping on you Gemini or this could be you sleeping on yourself take it as it applies but um or you are sleeping on someone I said on and I mean as far as um um not seeing something in its true authenticity not seeing something for truly what it is um, there is a gift being presented to you and or you are the gift that is being presented and you're not your worth isn't being seen or you're not seeing someone's worth and real talk just badass plain and simple it's badass but I'm, I'm, I'm hearing really that you or someone that just being slept on all right all right it's gemini tt music oracle message just one let's see there's two let's see if we can get one more okay i think we got like jesus all right we got four more we're gonna take them okay you're the One by SWV, Whip Appeal by Babyface, Must Be Nice by Life Jennings, Emotional Roller Coaster, Vivian Green, Caribbean Queen, Billy Ocean, One Wish by Ray J, and Under the Deck we have We Gonna Make It by Jada Kiss. So I am hearing, I want to say this is Tasha Cobb, but I am not 100% sure. And it's a song where she says, I've made up in my mind. So Gemini's, you made it up in your mind that you are, you know, you've made the decision. There is no back and forth. You've decided something. It, you are resolute in whatever it is that you're going towards this week okay um you have you have chosen or you have been chosen take it as it applies for you okay but this is you being in the place and space where you want to be thriving um enjoying the company of someone or this you know with this emotional roller coaster, I'm getting more of the energy of the highs, more so, you know, and, and less of the lows. But this is this is absolutely going from not being in a place and space that you want to be to being in a place and space that you want to be. Communicating um, this Caribbean Queen and Billy Ocean. This is deep emotions with you and someone else, okay? And this is exactly what you wanted. Not worried about what nobody else think. Not worried about naysayers. Not, not, not. You not having it. This is you going towards what you want. Period. I like it. Gemini. That's what's up. Oh, dang. Okay. We have 
the card number eight, emotional withdrawal, and uh, card number nine, spiritual strength. For some of you, you had to pull yourself away this week. It's going to be a need to pull yourself away, take your emotions out of something, and just take the action. And know that you're strong enough to handle whatever comes. Getting out of your out of your head is getting you in motion. So it's gonna hurt, probably. Probably, I doubt it. It might hurt your feelings. It might hurt your feelings, but it will um, clear your thinking, and it will show you your power. Once you get out of and walk away from any um, emotions that are draining to you, that are not um, filling you, it's like being um, on dry land and searching for, wanting, oh, I'm sorry, the other way around, the other way around. It's like being in the ocean, deep in your feelings, drowning in your feelings for some of you and searching desperately for dry land and um, using everything that you have spiritually, um, your resources around you, um, your, your, um, I'm getting sacral, but this is your solar plexus power, your gut instincts to push and persevere until you find that um, what quenches your thirst I'm getting um, I'm not saying you're thirsty I'm not saying you're thirsty but I am saying that there is um, you're trying to get to a place that is um, that fills your cup all right under the deck we have card number 10 destiny this is the wheel of fortune Things have turned in your favor. Karma has been settled. Um, anything that was on the on the downswing is now on the upswing, and it is um, bringing some some. I'm not getting endings, but it is uh, allowing you to emotionally go towards what is feeling, rather than being in a, some kind of dry or desolate um, energy. You're, you're strong enough. You just have to persevere and see it and uh, release any um, energy that is um, that's trying to I'm getting the I'm getting the term browbeat. Somebody is trying to um, outwit you in some place in space that's already been destined and designed for you but there's this um, spiritual energetic um, growth that had to take place within you for you to get um, the strength to walk away from it and no longer engage in it because there's something more for you there's um, what you want is on the other side of you releasing and getting out of this energy of um, drowning in um, some things that, that are keeping you stuck, I'm getting. Something's trying to, uh, to test your resolve at this time, Gemini. Spiritual warfare. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, we have the Three of Air, which is the Three of Swords. And um, we have Call, which is card number 20. And that is um, Judgment. The scales are going to be balanced this week. And um, it's going to cause some hurt, heartache for someone, and it's doing so for the purpose of 
grounding, um, letting go of something so that letting go of the past heartache, letting go of the thoughts of um, heartache. For some of you, this was um, a third party situation that um, you walked away from. You learned your value. You realized what your um, what your value, what your worth was, and you said, "You know what? This week, I got I gotta let this go." And it's not going to be something that will be easy, it, because in all honesty, this could be um, this could be something that is heartbreaking for you in that you know that you are called to something more. You know that um, there is something more on the other side of this heartbreak and turmoil. This, it's, it feels really heavy. And you going towards, um, you going towards something new is a bit scary, but it's, it's your calling. It's what's being called. You're being called to, and you've heard this and felt this. You know this heartache is here, and you also know that uh, you are the one that can heal it. And for some of you, healing it is going to require the sacrifice of you walking away, of you um, either breaking your own heart by walking away. Or breaking the heart of someone else because you know that you are called to something something more under the deck we have the ace of fire something there was a chance happening it was not something that uh, you had planned this is something that was you know destined in the stars it just it was something that happened and it sparked a flame and a fire on the inside of you. It started um, you to thinking and taking action. And you didn't necessarily exactly know what this was, but it started something inside of you. It started a fire and a passion inside of you. And this week, you're going to go, be going more towards that even if it is um even if this requires a separation um from something or someone that you hold dear goodness gracious that's where that emotional roller coaster is coming in mm. This is mending something. This is mending some heartache, Gemini. Mending some heartache. Okay. We have prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Yeah. This prosperity lies ahead is kind of like a uh, an ace of an ace of pentacles to me in you're starting something new you are um, receiving or giving a peace offering and more uh, fire energy that time to take action this is you know what to do you're not only um, you not only have this spark of the past, but there's um, a new level of initiation that you're going to be going through this week, and it's re it's it's really going to require you to get out your feelings. This is what I'm getting. It's going to require you to get out of your feelings, and to do the right thing rather than uh as j cole said you know i rather do the right thing or i want to do the right thing rather than the wrong thing under the deck we have a personal issue reaches resolution 
full moon in cancer this yeah yeah some actions that you took or some actions that were taken in the past that really brought things uh into fruition for you initiated some changes got you to got you in your heart in your heart and in your feelings you were deep in your feelings and those deep feelings um spark some change it sparks some healing and you seeing this within yourself is this week you having to be strong enough to um do what again do the right thing do the thing that you're being called to do at this time to um either begin something again or to begin something anew okay I'm, I keep getting don't listen to what people say so um, releasing with what people are saying around you and and listening to your heart uh, what is that Roxette listen to your heart when love is calling for you listen to your heart there's nothing else you can do I don't know where you're going and I don't know why listen to your heart before you tell them goodbye okay all right okay gemini it's a lot of ones up here it's a lot of ones we have card number one and spirit time to collaborate um it's, it's time to heal some stuff that um was done what's done is done it's time for you to heal this energy of um putting someone or something else in between you and what you're being called towards. This could be very well be um, um, healing, healing a relationship with, um, with anybody. With, you can be healing the relationship within yourself between you and God. You could have turned away from God and God is like, I'm here. I've always been here. The thing is, is you put blame on me for something that, it, you know, you had to go through. Those kinds of things. Under the deck, we have card number 26, Flamingo Spirit. Embrace the in-between. This embrace of the in-between for me had to do a lot with your healing yourself. You healing the... Um, your perspective of something and the other person's perspective of it and in the middle there was the truth so you seeing something from someone else's perspective them seeing it from your perspective and you're allowed to meet in the middle to heal whatever this um, this collaboration is You have something, they have something, but together you can create and build and make, you know, multiples of something. It's putting the pieces together. I am hearing, oh my gosh. Okay. This could be twin flame energy. Take it as it applies. Twin flame, twin soul, soulmate. Don't care what you call it. Anywho. This is uh, one of the songs that um, resonates that energy for me. And it is um, Schism by Tool. And um, part of the lyrics are, I know the pieces fit. I know the pieces fit. And it's, it's very much a, a love song. It doesn't sound like it. Um, but it's very much a love song and two people coming together two people fitting together they are whole 100 percent whole apart but together they create something else something um more something connected between the two of them all right all right gemini um. We have new earth. It's happening. Take hold of the vision. 
Oh, I'm sorry. No, it says keep holding the vision. So you've been you've been working on this and putting in the energy and effort towards it. You're strong enough. This took you a lot of um, a lot of growth, a lot of spiritual energy to um, get to the place where you could begin something again. Okay, and it's what you want, so just know that you can soldier on. You are bad and bougie. You're badass, Gemini. So claim your badassness. You've done the work. Under the deck, we have, ah, dang it. I'm going to look this up, how to pronounce this correctly, but anywho. The Hyrath, H-I-R-A-E-T-H, longing for home, homesick for the stars. Yeah, you 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 had you had to do some going within. You had to do some going within in order for you to get to this place of um, being able to reconcile, getting back to to. Getting, I'm hearing, I, I was going to say getting back together with someone or something. Um, but this is also, uh, you know, getting together within yourself, your two selves. You reconciling your um, spiritual man and your emotional man, woman. Take it as it applies for you. Don't care. Gender. Nope. None of that. You know who I'm talking to you. You're being called to heal some stuff, Gemini. You're being called to heal some stuff. So um, get off your ass. Make the moves necessary. Do what needs to be done. Clear the slate. Start things over. Come at something from a new perspective. It may have hurt your feelings or it may hurt your feelings. It may hurt someone else's feelings. But in the long run, it is for the best and highest good to move forward to heal. I hope this makes sense, okay? All right, Nuggets, I'm going to leave it there. Energies and signs that you could possibly be dealing with at this time. Um, Pisces, Sagittarius, Cancer, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio, um, yes, all the water signs. I'm going to throw Leo in there as well. All right, Nuggets, I love you. I love you from my soul and I send you all blessings and light. Take care.